The Abrams P-1 Explorer was the first American aircraft designed specifically for aerial photography and photogrammetric survey work. Its creation stemmed from the experience of Talbert Abrams, an early aerial photographer and World War I reconnaissance pilot. After the war, he flew a Curtis Jenny, founded ABC Airlines, and in 1923 established Abrams Aerial Survey Company. By the 1930s, United States aerial mapping expanded rapidly, and Abrams sought an aircraft engineered from the start for stability, visibility, long endurance, and efficient camera operation, qualities conventional front-engined airplanes lacked due to vibration, oil contamination, and poor cockpit visibility. In 1937, Abrams formed the Abrams Aircraft Corporation in Marshall, Michigan, hiring engineers Kenneth Ronan and Andrew Kunzel. They built a low-wing aluminum monoplane with twin tail booms and a central nacelle housing pilot, photographer, and equipment. The extensively glazed plexiglass nose, manufactured by Rome and Haas using heated, molded panels, gave the crew a panoramic field of view, up to 360 degrees laterally, and exceptional forward-downward visibility. The rear-mounted Wright R975 engine drove a pusher propeller, keeping oil away from camera ports and reducing cockpit noise. The aircraft featured a fixed tricycle undercarriage, a pressurized cabin with oxygen equipment, specialized camera doors, and mounts for multiple types of survey cameras, including the Abrams C3 capable of producing 659 inch square images per flight. First flown on the 20th of November, 1937 by pilot Walter Carr, the P1 demonstrated high stability, strong directional control, and ease of handling. Its structural design allowed future installation of engines up to 1,000 horsepower, although the prototype transitioned only from a 330 horsepower to a 450 horsepower Wright R975 E3. Despite interest from the United States military, the project stalled as the armed forces increasingly favored fast fighter-based reconnaissance. The P-1 nonetheless supported civil mapping for roughly five years, performing tasks from agricultural planning to regional cartography. World War II halted further development, including the planned PC-4 successor. Abrams Aircraft Corporation closed in 1944, and the sole P-1 was placed in storage. In 1948, it was donated to the National Air and Space Museum. A detailed restoration attempt began in 1968, with components repaired, photographed, and refurbished at several Michigan institutions, but the project remained unfinished. In 1981, the partially restored airframe returned to the Smithsonian's Garber facility, where it remains today, awaiting full restoration. The Abrams P-1 Explorer stands as a singular achievement, an aircraft engineered entirely around the needs of aerial photographers, decades ahead in visibility, crew ergonomics, and mission-specific design.